Hello everyone and welcome to this PyTest tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will learn how to group the tests using the markers. So let's begin. In PyTest, the markers are really helpful in organizing and executing a selective test cases. They allow us to label the test case with the specific names, which enables us to group, categorize and run the particular set of tests. Now the question here is that why we need to group the tests. So when you are executing your automation scripts, you don't need to run every test case every time. In some cases, when you get the new build, you might need to execute some sanity. You might need to execute some specific tests which are related to the smoke. In some cases, you might need to run the regression. So every time you don't need to execute each and everything. So using the markers, what you can do is that you can execute only specific set of test cases either it can be smoke regression and so on now when we talk about the markers in pytest these are just labels or tags so let me give you a real time example you go to a very big supermarket and in that particular supermarket you see that they have labeled everything they have labeled the sections they have labeled the products they have labeled the prices so as a customer you walk in and you exactly find the the place where you want to go and you can easily find a product similarly the labels and tags work in the pie test they identify the specific test cases having that particular label or tag it will pick those test cases group those test cases and execute those test cases now when we talk about the pie test markers so they are custom markers and they are built-in markers so right now we will be talking about the custom markers only and in our upcoming tutorial we will be talking about the built-in markers so when we talk about the markers the syntax is really simple so for example this is our test over here so what you need to do is that you need to use at the rate okay and then you need to type pi pi test and then dot then mark okay and then the name of the marker but here you see that you can parameterize your test you can skip your test you can use the fixture we haven't learned about the fixture but we will be covering those topics in our upcoming tutorials okay right now if you want to create or use the custom just provide the name over here okay so it will group the test into the categories it will help to running the specific group of tests managing test rules efficiently in the larger project so this is the benefits of using the markers when you're grouping the test now for example your manager wants you to run the smoke test case okay so your marker is ready this is a custom one okay so let me copy this one and let me paste it over here okay now my two test case having a marker with the smoke now question is that how we can execute our test with the markers okay the only thing is that here in the command line what you need to do is that you need to type by test dash m means you are executing a marker and the marker here is smoke and press enter so here uh actually there is a problem with the spelling over here so pi test run this one so it will you see that it picked one failed one passed four deselected and two warnings and it's actually pick the test cases based on this mark okay and here this particular test case is actually filling this vr that's why we are getting the failure over here if i make it pass now if i run this one this time you see that two test cases because this one and this one is having a mark of smoke so it picked up group those test cases and executed this test now similarly what i'll do is that uh, let me go to the second file and let me go here and what i do is that ins instead of you know smoke let's go with the regression okay and what i'll do is that uh, here instead of failing this one let's pass this one and now uh, what we need to do is say some error over here so we need to import the pi test and it will fix the problem okay now um let's run the regression test from here 
and simply I will say regression and press enter and you see that one test got picked it got passed five got deselected and there are three warnings now what are these warnings all about so basically when we provided a custom marker over here so actually Python doesn't know about it so what we need to do is that we need to register our custom mark to avoid using these warnings so this is not registered even the smoke or this regression mark is not registered we will learn in our upcoming tutorials that how we can register our custom marker so that you shouldn't be seeing these warnings over here okay now what you can also do is that when you're executing the marker the custom markers over here so you can also combine the markers okay so by combining uh, what i mean is that i will say pytest dash m and i'm combining the markers i will say smoke or regression so you see that i have six test cases in some cases i have marked as smoke in some cases i have marked as regression but there are also the test cases on which I haven't marked anything, right? So I'm saying that pick up those test cases having the marker smoke or a regression. So it will now pick both the test cases, group them and run those one. Okay, just press enter. So this time you see that three passed, three deselected, three warnings. Now why this happened? This is one regression test in this particular file. And in this particular file, we have two smoke test cases. And also what you can do is that we can go with the negating uh, command as well. So negating commanding means that I will say pytest dash m and I'll say here smoke and not regression. Okay. So it will pick only the smoke test cases and it will ignore the test cases having the regression mark. Similarly, you can mark your test cases for maybe the performance for the API. You can mark that these test cases are related to this specific functionality to group the test cases. And this will really helpful to execute that certain test cases which are required when you're actually testing your application using the scripts. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.